Hey everybody, this is MBS Gamer here, and I just got Phoenix Point. And for those who don't know, Phoenix Point is pretty much a spiritual sequel to XCOM 2, let's say. Um, let's start the game. So, I'll put it on Veteran. I don't have these download contents yet. Um, yeah, let's start the tutorial. You need to complete a faction special mission in order to progress the relations with them to the next level. So as far as I know, this game has several different uh, factions. Some religious factions, some uh, more scientific ones, etc. That you can align yourself with while you play the game. By, as this says, doing their special missions. So as far as I remember, this game has very similar gameplay, or not the exact same gameplay as has come to, with a few additions to it. I think there's some. Uh, I don't remember if you can do it in XCOM 2, but I think in this game you can destroy walls and buildings and stuff like that. At least the enemies can. And if you place your your people in the wrong place, they will get killed when that happens. And this game I think also has permadeath for your for your people. And they can also get injured, I believe. Uh, well, there's something to check out and see. Once this thing loads. Oh my god. This is incredible. My Holy name fuck. is Randolph Symes. I am the last leader of the Phoenix Project. If you are hearing this, I am most likely dead. But in happier news, a scarab has been sent to pick you up, and its artificial intelligence will take you to Phoenix Point. Get to it quickly and safely. All right. Try the camera controls. Use that. I can also use the gamepad, but I don't really want to. Okay. Okay, that's zooming out, zooming in. T and G. Okay. Alright. No time to waste. Send me right there. Enemy, enemy icons above your action bar show all spotted enemies. Red icon shows an enemy in direct line of sight for the selected soldier. Hmm. Bar show all spotted enemies. Some cover there. You can see that the line of sight is there. Oh, he stops when there's an enemy. Nice. Once soldiers out of action points, he enters standby mode. Next soldier selected. There are no soldiers with APs remaining, your turn ends. You can order a soldier to enter standby mode by using the space bar, selecting the icon from the action bar, or using gamepad B. Okay. Catcher's attack, damage is done to the body part that was hit as well as reducing general hit points. When the body parts are marked in yellow on the damage display, left of the health bar. Okay. Disable body parts are marked in red. Disable body parts will usually cause bleeding and the loss of strength and possibly willpower. Any special ability given by the body part will be lost. Okay, 
going back. Any object in the environment can provide cover by, by blocking the path of pro a projectile. However, soldiers will make use of cover in two different ways. When next to a low obstacle or low wall, soldiers will crouch to reduce exposure. When next to a high obstacle or high wall, soldiers will remain standing but can step to the side to shoot. Okay. Repositioning. Free aim allows you to target body part and see the effect of disabling the body part. Each body part has its own hit points and armor value. Damage prediction is also shown for the targeted body part. The outer blue circle shows you where all your shots will land. The more accurate the weapon, the smaller the circle. Enter free aim. Press the free aim icon. Scroll. Move cross moves the walls or use the left toggle. Zooming in. Okay, cool. Hmm. If I want to go for a machine gun, I can. They got them. Kill them anyways. He can move far. Sprinting to position. Like crab like people. Crab people, crab people. Shit, there's a whole bunch of them. He's in cover. So they have their carapace out. better to shoot the other guy. I mean, they'll, they'll shut up, shoot up the carapace mostly. Oh, I can fire again. Cool. That's because I didn't use any of the action points. Very nice. Attack me now. Ooh. Fuck. Mm. I don't think I will have enough action points if I move there. But I can move him out of the way. Vehicles are armored personal carriers with a mounted weapon. Soldiers can enter the vehicle by moving on the entry mark next to the vehicle, then press enter a vehicle on the action bar. Okay. So good. I 
don't believe there's any more. Uh, yeah. What? It smells like trouble. Fuck, I really didn't want to. Uh, her and stand by. I wonder if I can... Ready for action. Yeah, I can. Okay. Repositioning. Yeah, mission complete! Looks like they're both injured. Faction relations reach fit to you are aligned, and that faction shares research with you. Okay. Man, these load times are fucking killer. Fuck. If you right, are hearing cool. this message, an alert has been triggered, and you will need to clear out the enemy forces. There may be others who receive this signal. Help them if you can. It's all up to you now. Good luck, operatives. Symes out. The inventory shows everything carried by a soldier and items on the ground or in adjacent crates. The weight of all carried out items and armor is greater than the soldier's strength. The soldier will suffer some movement penalty. Okay. The, the tactical inventory display is divided into three sections. Ready contains okay. The items are currently equipped and ready for immediate use. Holds are items carried but not equipped. Backpack holds. <laughs> and items on the soldier's tile or in the surrounding tiles. Entering the inventory display has no AP cost. Moving any number of items from one section to another has a fixed cost of one AP, except for moving items to ground. Which does not cost any AP. Uh, equipment crates contain weapons, ammo, and other equipment. First time a unit moves next to an equipment crate, the inventory is automatically open. The soldier will get a will point bonus. Wing any number of items from the crate to soldier's backpack or ready section costs one AP. Moving now. So I can't do anything else. Oh, select the unit. Comes online. Shit. I like how it's also possible to come across allied characters in battle. Allies surrounded by a blue circle can be rescued, can come, uh, come under your control. Like this guy. That's not good. So I'm bleeding. Affect unit for a certain amount of time. Plus effects are usually acquired through abilities. When negative effects come from enemy weapons and abilities, bleeding is one of the most common status effects. Soldiers suffering from bleeding are dealt a set amount of damage at the start of their turn equal to their bleed level. Mm -hmm. Bleeding can be cured by using a med kit. After mission ends, bleeding and disabled limbs are cured, but hit points need to be restored at the base with a medical facility. Damn. Items in the ready section of the inventory are shown in the ready bar right here. They be selected for use without any, without an AP cost. Item used on the items icon or keys. Okay. Can we throw it there? Oh, move to that location. Grenades do area damage around the spot where they land. 
or in spherishals, spherishals, the area of the effect. Distance at which a grenade can be thrown depends on the soldier's strength and abilities. Select throw grenade action that target the space between the two enemies. Okay. Here goes. Nice. Poison effects, okay. Various soldier classes, each with their own set of abilities, equipment, proficiency. While any soldier can use any armor or weapon, doing so comes at the risk of lower accuracy or fumbling. Every class soldier is proficient in heavy weapons, just equipped with armor capable of doing large amounts of damage. Their emblematic jackpack suit allows them to fly over obstacles or reach high points with ease. Okay, willpower determines the soldier's will to fight, ability to perform advanced class abilities. Soldier, soldier begins battle with will points equal to his willpower. They're displayed in the bottom left corner of the screen. WPs can be gained by killing enemies, opening crates, or reaching objective zones. They can be lost when allies die. If units will, uh, uh, will points fall to zero, he panics and loses a turn. WPs can be partially restored by using the recovery ability. Use the heavy jet jump ability, jump over the wing of the aircraft to land near the enemy. Cool. Loud and clear. So far, this is pretty fucking cool. I guess I can hand turn. Shit, two melee. <laughs> yeah, that's why I turn. Some abilities such as return fire allow characters to react during the enemy turn. During fire, return fire allows the character to shoot back when enemies shoot at it or any of its allies. As long as the attacker is within 18 tiles of target. Only several weapons are able to return fire, regardless of what skills the unit might have. Move your assault under the wing, then shoot the enemy and observe the return fire. Okay. Moving now. Targeting. Gotta keep that in mind, huh? The watch ability allows soldiers to guard an area during the enemy's turn. If an enemy enters the watch cone, it's attacked automatically. Watch controls, enter watch mode, select the watch icon from the action bar, press Y, blah blah, move mouse, so use, I uh, will change width of over zone watch, control, plus wheel, or use LB and LB, hmm, new scissors and set over watch. Okay. Comms online. Okay, cool. Oh, I guess he wants to only do it from here, huh? Providing Overwatch. For, for, for enemies as well as your own soldiers. Ah, okay. Proficiency with assault rifles and shotguns. Enemies entering the, entering the Overwatch cone will trigger an attack. Okay. Cool. 
people. On the mark. <laughs> Got smacked up. Damn. Really? Fuck. Okay, now I just kill all the enemies. G H G Engaging What's there like an X there? <laughs> Fuck him up. Oh, he doesn't. Hmm. Oh, is he stunned? I guess so. Really? Fuck. I think there was a. Uh, I think I can. There's also friendly fire in this game, so I gotta be careful. I need an angle. That's it. Injured. I guess if you take any damage, they get into the injured state. Yes, I know this. The Phoenix Project was founded on October 24th, 1945. The second war to end all wars was over, but there were those who understood that we could no longer afford to think in terms of nations and empires. For a time, the Phoenix Project successfully navigated the political conflicts of its era. That was our golden age. Phoenix Project operatives scoured the world for clues. We had bases in two dozen countries, even the heavens were not off limits. But out there, on the far side of the moon, began our downfall. The failure of the Phoenix 2 mission exposed us to our enemies in the UN. Stripped of resources and scattered to the winds, we were reduced to a secret, a memory. When the Pandora virus woke up, we should have been the first line of defense. When huge clouds of mist appeared over the sea, when people started vanishing, we should have figured out what was going on. And when those people started coming back, changed, hostile, alien, we should have been ready to fight, but we failed. The ecosystem started to change, imperceptibly at first, then faster and faster. Three factions arose. New Jericho, trying to restore order and purity. Sinedrin, hoping to build a world without hierarchies. And the Disciples of Anu, a new syncretic religion dedicated to adaptation and biological change. At war with the world and at odds with each other, these factions cannot find a way forward. Now the mist is returning and armies are rising from the sea. 
Without the Phoenix Project, humanity will fall. It's time to rise from the ashes. Yeah, cause you know, Phoenix! Like the legend of the Phoenix. Like the legend of the Phoenix. The Geoskip shows the world in all locations and sites of interest. At the beginning, all you know about is your base, Phoenix Point. Geoskip controls, move globe, hold down, and drag or use gamepad. Okay, select the base bases button with left mouse or the gamepad course with. Okay, cool. Your base is your stronghold containing all facility as well as vital resources such as food, materials, and tech. Phoenix Point is in bad shape. You need to repair your vehicle bay before you can launch your Manticore aircraft. Uh, this thing right here. And it will take some time. Start repair of your vehicle bay on the repair facility button or move the gamepad, blah, blah, blah. Then return to Geo Skip and rent time. Okay. Cost 40 of that, 5 of that. Should have that right there. And cool. Now I can advance time. Speed up time. There you go. The Menticore is your aircraft for transporting soldiers and exploring the world. The aircraft's crew is shown the aircraft bar in the bottom of the screen. Using their soldier class icons. Okay. Send your Menticore to the unexplored site. The location move game pack or blah blah and it's like move. So I have a sniper. What the fuck is that? Sal C C P S Unev Vladimir. Heavy tiny then three assaults. Midget man, Gilmore? Fuck. <laughs> Living quarters. Okay. So if I need power, I can power them off. Store. I guess I can't do much of anything here. I have two aircraft personnel base, vehicles, got none. I got enough power for more stuff. So I want to go here. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought I just clicked on it. This will be your site on the escape or unexplored, marked with a question mark. You need at least one soldier born aircraft in order to explore. The explosion takes time and you may get ambushed, so be on your guard. Okay. Explore the site. Jet level low, light level night, Pandora. Okay. Heavy weapons weigh more and are held at waist level. Consider this when aiming from below, from behind low cover. Ah, okay. That's something to know. After a while, I was like, ah, oh, there's so many things to keep track of. And right now, I'm kind of like tired. Sleepy for some reason. Even though I sleep early. Man. Oh well. These low times are killing me. Fuck, I gotta put this on my SSD. This is unbelievable. Okay, it's getting a little bit faster, a little bit better. So this is the exit here. These are the crates. Apple has a fucking Apple logo. I think I think that's the old Apple Mac logo. Enemies are coming from over there. And there. So what the fuck? Oh shit. So let's take this guy. K 
can I like just get next to it? Okay, let me move over here. Repositioning. Brave Sea Jack. I'm on the move. Okay, I guess I can't do anything with that. Oh, okay. I have to protect them. Stand by! A sniper does not need to be real close to the action. is exposed here but not here guy on overwatch or this girl or I, got, I don't even know what what, what she is <laughs> fuck man that should even have a chance Whoever's back there. There's no way. There's obviously somebody back there. reaction points for this guy. Oh no. It's bleeding. a clear shot. I'm on the move. What the fuck is that? Holy shit, there's two of them. Saying anything like that.
all sucks. Arm, pincer. Nice. Comms online. As much damage as I wanted. Be right there. I can't. I don't, I don't have enough. All he has is this Hell 2 cannon. That's just gone. <laughs> I think I've been knocked down nice, knocked down this gate and everything. <laughs> Heading out. Acquiring target. Pretty far. Oh shit, so from here I can actually attack him, huh? Okay, move over there. Ready for action. Ready for action. Be right there. And that fucking gun can take some hits. For real. <sighs> Damn. Not the best cover right there. That's cool that I can still like zoom in and out if I want to take like a, a different view of things. Mm. 
Let's roll. Aiming. Fuck, this is not good. Fucking shot. I knew it. I like how you can destroy cover though. That's pretty cool. Ready to fire. Barely fucking hit him. Nice. There you go. Just pretty fun. Yeah. Injured because I, uh, I think it went through the armor. I'll ever steal it from them. Okay. So these are the resources that I was able to get. And a med kit. Phoenix Sangon magazine. Sumper rifle magazines. When completing a mission, all gather items and resources are added to your overall supplies. Soldiers get fatigued during battle, losing one standard point per turn. Max 10 per battle. If someone falls below 20%, a soldier will suffer an action point penalty in the next battle. Soldiers will recover stamina and health while resting at base, as long as the base has a functioning living quarters and medical bay. Okay. So I can't go there. I'll do a return back here. The personal roster shows all your soldiers and ground vehicles wherever they are located. You can transfer soldiers by selecting the location button on the right side of each soldier's least list entry. You can customize your soldier's appearance and voice by selecting the customization icon to the right of the soldier's name. Uh, select the personal button and go to the equipment. Armor select all items by ragging him. Available equipment from the stores onto the appropriate slots in the inventory selection. You can easily equip or produce items in ready slots by using the plus ammo and plus items. Button. The armor section shows armor the soldiers wearing for legs, body, and head. The mount section is for used for special equipment that can only be attached to a corresponding piece of armor. Soldiers can increase strength, willpower, and speed, as well as acquire new abilities by spending skill points. If a soldier has used all personal skill points, they can use the Phoenix skill points. Okay. Soldiers can only acquire abilities for their current level or or level. Upon reaching level 4, each soldier has the option to specialize in an additional class. Last row of abilities represent personnel, personal aptitudes the soldier is born with. Once you've adjusted your soldier's stats and abilities, go to the research section. Ah, okay. Brawler. Bash and melee attacks do 50% more damage. So I have none here. He has a game more. 
Prince allies, one additional war point. Huh. I would give him more of that. In a magazine. Plus ammo, plus ammo. Wonder if I need the ammo should be on the uh Because hmm. I gotta keep track of ammo. Okay. Oh shit, just noticed it's, okay. it's in conference. Let's put that there. I don't think anyone had any problems with that. Research products are critical for improving your capabilities as winning and winning the game. To speed up research, build more research labs. Research requires time, so make sure time is advancing and you'll escape. Research atmospheric analysis. We managed to connect to some of the remaining weather satellites. We should use these to assess the extent of new miss upgrade. Okay. Research complete. We're programming with satellite systems has revealed the extent of new mist upbreak. The origin sites are in coastal sea regions as in the previous two incursions, but the activity level seems higher, posing a, se a serious threat to remaining life on Earth. Havens caught within havens caught within the mist will be at risk of attack. So we should explore mist covered regions thoroughly and defend any havens trapped within them. Our geoscape monitoring systems have been updated with current mist coverage. Cool. The mist represents the progression of the Pandora virus as it spreads throughout the globe. The Pandora mutations will attempt to build colonies on areas of land covered by the mist, which will then attack nearby havens. To meet this threat, you will need to produce equipment. Select the manufacturing button. Weapons, vehicles, and armor are manufactured by fabrication plants. Provided the required research has been developed and there are enough resources available. Items take varying amounts of time to produce. To speed up the process, build more fabrication plants. Manufacture a med kit. Okay. Is that it? Cool. Can't get nothing else. Ah, oh, it costs 10. Ah, okay. Geoscape. Satellite uplinks allow area scans to be initiated, revealing new sites of interest. The more uplinks, uplinks there are available, the more simultaneous scans can be performed. An area scan can only be performed by an aircraft centered on its location. The scanning zone will expand over time, revealing new sites. Perform an area scan on the scan area button. Okay. Oh, and there's a cost to it. And here's the mist right here. I don't think I can build anything here yet. Congratulations, congratulations for completing the tutorial. From here on, it is all up to you to survive, explore, and become humanity's salvation. Check the Phoenixpedia <laughs> for more information about the game. Now you must find out what happened to the Phoenix Project. Research the Phoenix Archive. Cool, so now I can actually start the game. So I'll stop the video here. This is the whole tutorial. And the next video will be the actual game itself. And there's a few things here we can do. Complete the research for Phoenix Archives. And... Haven recruitment protocols. Hmm. Okay. 
see that in the next episode. Thanks for watching guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe to help me grow my channel. I really do appreciate it, and leave some comments down below. Uh, thanks for everything. Bye-bye.